Hello, hello, hello. This is King's Quest 1, the quest for the crown. Uh, this is a really old school Sierra adventure game from way back in the day. Um, I'll be honest, I've never played the King's Quest series. I've seen other people play them, uh, but I myself have never gone through and played these games. Uh, so I feel like I should. I was always partial to uh, Quest for Glory as opposed to King's Quest. Um, I always loved the Quest for Glory series, and one day I'm going to play through those, uh, because I've only played two. Actually, I played one and two. I never played three or four, and we don't talk about five. So, yeah, so this is going to be a King's Quest playthrough, first and foremost. I am working off a guide, if only because these games... These games are really short if you're not playing off a guide, or if you are playing off a guide, and trying to... Trying to reasonably beat these games without using a guide is a long process. This is back from when games tended to be, uh, how do I put this? They tended to be the kind of things you spend months on, as opposed to, you know, hours. So it was the kind of thing where, because there were fewer games, you know, you were expected to spend, you know, six, seven months trying literally everything. Uh, so yeah, but we're not going to do that, because I don't have six to seven months to play this. Uh, <laughs> to do this, so... Uh, hopefully this won't be too loud, because uh, the first time I played it, it was really loud. Okay, that sounds terrifying. That's awful. Lower that. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. This is like a dying keyboard. Okay. Oh, oh god. Oh god, okay. Okay. So we survived. We survived the entry screen. Uh, I think that was really loud for me. I don't know how loud it was for you guys, but... Ow. It's like a keyboard's last known, uh... Last known, uh... Playing. That's what you do when you're, like, mortally wounded. Okay, so, you guys see over here my mouse cursor is. Um, that's us. Uh, we have keyboard? Okay, we have keyboard. But you can also move via the numpad. Can I stop moving? Yeah, apparently once you choose a direction, he just won't stop. Unless you hit it again. That's an interesting thing. See, normally I would think you would hit the opposite direction, but if you hit the opposite direction, you just keep walking. Okay, so... I don't know how the perspective works in this game. Oh, but we're drowned. Misfortune strikes, and you have fallen into the, me into the moat. Your struggles and cries have attracted hungry alligators. They do not want to let you go. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. Alright, so we died in 30 seconds. That's been King's Quest playthrough. Goodbye! No, I'm, I'm just kidding. That was only our first playthrough. Uh, so... Uh, um... Oh, there we go. I was like, how on earth do I... Uh... Swim? Do you have a swim action? I didn't know that. Okay, let's restart. Uh... Let's turn on fa- oh! I... <laughs> Never mind, I was like, oh, let's turn on fast speed, that was a mistake. Okay, so let's try not to die going over this bridge. This strangely... Okay, somehow we walked over this bridge without dying. Wonder if I should save just because I now have made it over the death bridge. Save game. Uh Wait, can I Uh Okay, one second. I never actually considered uh what I should be uh, saving this under.
Uh, no, it's not what I. Uh, these are the like really old school games where I never even considered what I'd have to save this under. Uh, let's see if I can go through it again. C. You clean up. This just reminds me. You know, we're just gonna save it under. I'm gonna make a new folder off screen. Just call it save. Call it saves. C. Backslash saves. What do you mean? There's absolutely a directory called saves. C colon backslash saves. So just not going to pick it up because I have to restart the game? That's going to be annoying. Alright, let's try saving just under C. Okay, start. Uh, okay, now let's see if that actually saved. Um, I think it did. Maybe? Maybe? King's Quest, the quest for a save file. Jesus, where the hell is it? Uh, let's try this one more time. There's just a random bitmap in my C directory. A whole bunch of shit in my save directory I need to get rid of. Okay, let's try this again. Is it going to make me choose where to save it every time? Okay, so apparently it's saved there. And file C. C colon backslash KQ1. Uh. Okay, I don't know where it's saving this. Actually, you know what I might be doing? Are you saving everything where I see? AQ1 S save game 1. Okay, so it's actually saving... It's not saving it in my C directory, it's saving it in the game directory. Okay, so that's... Okay, so we've discovered... we figured it out, so just to be sure... Make sure I'm not crazy. Save a second one. Should save this too. Yep, okay, so it's saving in the King's Quest directory. Okay, figured that out. Mystery solved. Okay, so we've solved the first the first puzzle. We've survived by getting over the bridge. So now we need to go west. And as we can see, uh, we have this nice castle uh, with apparently in Finland. Uh, based on this. Apparently we're now in Finland. Uh, let's move the window over for me. Sue so doesn't love Finland. Um, let's go up to the door. And this is back in the day when you had to actually type things. So, open door. Success! The huge doors swing open slowly. Okay. Enter castle. All right, let's follow this red carpet and uh, just ignore those misshapen, uh, misshapen statues. You know, as king, we're not really too uh, too worried about moving too fast. Just gonna wander around. You might notice at the top there we got a point. So these old adventure games are all about point systems to tell you how much you've done, how much you haven't done. Um, all right, so let's go talk to uh, what appears to be a dead king. Alright, so, uh, let's bow to the king. It's probably just standing directly in front of, and a few paces back from King Edward, and addressing him. Oh, okay. Apparently we were too close. Okay, let's try that again. Bow, king. Oh, hat fell off. You bow to King Edward, his pleased smile warms you. Okay. Okay, now what? Oh, we gotta, oh, now we have to actually talk to him. Talk King. Oh boy. Text. <clears throat> Gotta get our, 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 uh, 
our reading done. When you speak to King Edward, he sighs and says, Sir Graham, I am an old man. Interesting way to start. I fear my end is near. I have chosen you to prove yourself worthy of the throne. As you know, our kingdom is weak and poor. Oh, good rulership there, King Edward. I have knowledge of the existence of three things that would make our kingdom wealthy and strong. Somewhere within our kingdom, there is a magic mirror that tells the future. There is a magic shield that will protect the bearer from mortal harm. Finally, there is a magic chest that is always filled with gold coins. Go, Sir Graham. Go and bring me back these treasures. If you succeed, you will inherit the throne. Well, if you're old and weak, uh, I'm pretty sure I could inherit the throne just by stabbing you in the face, but, uh... I suppose we should do what he tells us. Uh, I just love the fact that this old king is like... I'm an old man. Everything's terrible in my kingdom. I've been a shitty ruler. Go, you there! Person who was outside the castle and made it across the, the strange perspective bridge. The first person to ever do that. You, go find stuff that'll make our kingdom better, so I can die peacefully. <laughs> okay. So apparently he's just told us to go on this quest. Um, good for him, I suppose? I mean, I guess that's a good thing for him. I don't know. Okay, so... Let's get out of the castle. Make our slow walking animation out of the castle. There he goes. There goes King Graham. Walking slowly to save the kingdom. Any day now, King Graham. Any day now. Any day now. Okay. We're outside. Yay! Yay, outside. Okay. Let's save again. So we don't have to do all that again. Uh, save over that. We'll call it. We'll call this save file. Uh, uh, terrible king. Okay. Now we need to cross the bridge. Don't mind the perspective. Okay. Now we need to. Oop! Went the wrong way. Okay. Uh, leave castle, go north. So now we need to walk to the north. Very slowly. Okay. And we gotta get a carrot, it looks like. So, let's just stop. Look. Need to be more specific. Look around. You see nothing special. Uh... Look, ground. It's a well-tended carrot patch. Carrots look tempting to a hungry traveler. Okay. Uh, get carrot. You pluck a plump orange carrot from the ground. Success, two points. Alright, so now we need to go west. Very slowly. Any time now, King Graham. Okay. Uh... So, climb tree. Cause that sounds like a good idea. I can't climb tree here. Okay, can we go around the tree? Climb it from the other side. Come along, King Graham. Okay. Climb tree. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, look nest. It's a pure golden egg lying in the nest. How how convenient. How is this kingdom so poor? It lays golden eggs. The fuck are you so poor, King Graham? Uh, okay. So, can we get the egg? Can't get the egg from here. Can I walk up there? Apparently I can walk up there. Actually, let's save. Uh, let's make a new save file. Golden eggs. Okay. Because we don't want to die and have to start over. There's no save, there's no automatic checkpoints in this game, so. Okay. Now can we get the egg? Golden egg is so heavy you almost drop it. Well, yeah, it's made of gold. Gold's fucking heavy. 
But anyway. Also, I don't know if it would matter if you dropped it. It's solid gold. <laughs> A solid gold egg is, uh, not too worried. So, climb down. How would you like to climb? Wait, what would you like? Wait, so I have to go climb tree? Damn it. I'm, I would just waste time. What? Just, ah! <laughs> God damn it. Uh go down. Why not? Apparently you lost your grip while climbing this tree and you fall to hard earth below. Ouch. But we're fine. Okay, so we survived the tree. Uh Alright, so now we need to go south. Now you can imagine that if you if you didn't have a guide or a walkthrough, um, you would be here forever. Basically, you would have to basically uh, do everything here from trial and error, which doesn't sound all that good. Because now, strangely enough, you need to stop here and move this rock. But a heave and a hoe, you managed to move the rock, revealing a dark hole underneath it. So again, if you didn't realize that you need to move this rock, and there was no way for you to know that, now you know. Um, so now we need to look hole, apparently. You're too far from the hole to see into it, okay? How about now? There's an intricately carved dagger in the hole. Get dagger. Reach into the hole and grasp the dagger, being careful not to cut yourself. So. If you reached into that hole without looking at the dagger, you cut yourself and die, I think. Because these games like to kill you. Um, and I should probably show off some more of those deaths, just because they're, they're not as fun as they would be in later, in, uh, in later installments, but this one's still pretty good. Alright, let's save again. We don't really need table, Terrible King save. Uh, got dagger. Okay. So one other thing about this game is that these games like to trap you in unwinnable situations. So one of the things about Sierra games is if you do things out of order or you do things wrong, uh, you can end up in a game state where you have no way of beating the game. So be careful when doing that. So always save when you can. So now I gotta go back north. Very slowly. You want to keep walking there, Graham? Okay, now we need to go east three times, apparently. Okay. Come along, King Graham. Actually, can we speed this up? Oh god, why is it so fast? No, 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 wait. Why was it? I didn't expect it to be that fast. Holy shit. Game speed fast apparently means game speed way too damn fast. Okay, so this is normal. So I guess we're gonna have to deal with that, because there was a fairy godmother thing there, and I don't know if it's going to show up again. Now that we've passed through it. Uh... So I don't know, I might have to resave and do that again, because I don't... <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to reload. Okay, so... Store game... Got dagger. Let's try this again. This time with less terrible. Alright, so let's walk through there. And I guess this time we'll be patient, as opposed to being way too uh, impatient. You know, rather than, like, sitting around and waiting for the, uh, just getting the golden egg, why not just get the bird that lays golden eggs? That seems like a way better idea. Like, wait till it comes back, catch it, and then infinite golden eggs. That seems like a better idea to me. Oh well. Okay, so... You know, King Graham would be able to, you know, much better if he ran. <laughs> I was so lazy. Okay. Uh, any day now, King Graham. Okay. 
Okay. Uh. Oh, there they are. Gentle Sir Graham, I am your fairy godmother. What? <laughs> your quest is indeed noble. Yes, our quest to get lots of money so we can rule this land. My small part to aid you can be no bigger than this magic spell, protective but for a little while. Okay. So... This is another one of those situations where the spell that they give you, if you don't use it in a certain amount of time, I think, it wears off and you can't win the game. Yeah. So, thank you for that. I come back. Where are you going? Can I talk to you? Nothing to say or do. There's no need to say or do anything. Okay, well, we're gonna save anyway. <laughs> uh, save over the golden eggs one. Godmother. Okay. I don't know if she does anything other than makes a horrifying noise. I'll be watching over you, Sir Ram. Okay. So we go east. Um,. Can we go east again? Or we have to go south? Well, I guess we'll see in a second. Uh, I don't think this is where we're supposed to be. Okay. So... Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... Now that we have the spell, I know this is probably not going to make a whole lot of sense. We now need to go over here and look in this stump. Look stump. Stump is very old and dearly petrified. Oh, it's look in stump. What's in the stump? Old Rod Snubby is a small canvas pouch. Okay. Uh, get a pouch? Maybe. Those pouches look aged and tattered. So did we get the pouch? We already have it. Okay, we already got it. Uh, now we need to go south again. Again, how you would know that that was there, I don't know. I guess they just assume you're going to look at everything and... You know, assume you know everything that's everywhere. <laughs> then again, this was also the age when uh, you would used to call in to these places, so... Like, people would make money by telling you to, like, they'd be like, oh, you need to call in to, uh, to learn more. Uh, so we gotta go south one more time, and then east four times. King Graham moves so fucking slow. Yes, hello, King Graham. I see you don't really care too much about this kingdom, because you're moving away. Actually, here's a question. I don't understand run, damn it. Okay, there's a house. Uh, where are we? Are we behind the house? Uh. 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 <laughs> where did we go? Oh, there we are. Okay, I see ourselves now. Okay. Like, where the hell are we? Because you can't tell what's in the background and what's in the foreground, and things will just randomly catch you. So we have to go east another three times, I think? Nearby a sorcerer, his mystical powers can leave you immobilized and helpless. Uh-oh. Goodbye, sorcerer. Don't wanna, don't wanna deal with the sorcerer. King Graham moves way too damn slow for us to deal with that. Okay. Uh, the hell is this? I think this is where we're supposed to be. Uh. Uh. Are. 
Where the hell are we? God damn it. I can't tell when we're moving and where we're not moving. Because you can't see yourself. Okay, uh... What are these? Walnuts. Uh, so this is not where we're supposed to be. Maybe it's one more? Be careful, young Graham. The mystic protective spell Mai is weakened and departed. Oh, fuck. That's bad. Okay, there's where we need it. Okay, so we need this bowl. Stop. Now we need to... get the bowl first. Okay, now we need to look at the bowl. This is a word on the bottom of the bowl. It says fill. That's helpful. So, fill bowl? Can't do that. Not now, at least. Okay. Uh, can't do that, at least not now. Alright. So why was I supposed to say that? Okay. Interesting. Alright, so let's go north. Actually, let's save first. And we'll call this one Bowl. We'll remember where we're supposed to go. Let's wander north. Apparently there's a... appears to be a river here. It's, a, it's not a, it's a beach, actually. Apparently. The river is dangerous and powerful. There's a delta of pebbles on its edge. Okay. Get pebbles. We need to get everything. Handful of pebbles. Yay, pebbles. Uh, then we need to go west and south back to that walnut tree. And... Uh, there he is. And you go back to the walnut tree and get the walnuts and then open the walnuts. Because of course we do. Because nothing in this game makes any goddamn sense. Uh, okay. Hello, walnuts. Good walnut. Did I spell walnut wrong? Yes, I did. Hey. Open walnut. The nut inside is pure gold. Okay, so... You remember when the guy, the king at the beginning of the game, said that uh, his, his land was poor? Um, how is this land poor? I mean, think about this for a second. There are birds that lay golden eggs. The walnuts are made of solid gold. And this fucker's sitting in a castle, complaining that he's poor. <laughs> I don't know how he's poor, because literally everything is overflowing with wealth. Apparently, King Edward is that or that terrible of a king. But anyway. Okay, so we got the solid gold walnuts. Uh, let's save. Let's see what we got, dagger. Solid gold everything. Seriously, why do we want to be king? Oh no, a sorcerer! I guess we'll just see what happens. Sorcerer casts a spell, freezing you to the spot. I hope no dangerous creatures drop by. And then he just fucking leaves? Just shows up, oh, boom! You're frozen, and then leaves. Are we just frozen forever now? Now I'm kind of curious. Kinda of curious how long if we wait if it'll wear off or uh if we're just frozen forever. I think we are. We're kind of frozen forever. <laughs> yeah, uh Okay then, hope you saved. <laughs> hope you saved, otherwise you're kinda of boned right now.
Okay, so anyway, let's reload. Yep, let's reload that, and this time we're not going to go that way. We're going to go around that spot. So we're not going to go over the... Uh, maybe we kind of have to, actually. Uh... Okay, so this is actually where we're supposed to be. Never mind then. This is actually where we're supposed to be. Okay, so... We need to... Swim water. In the water in order to swim. So while you're drowning, type swim and then you'll suddenly stop drowning. Apparently you need to tell King Graham not to sit there flailing and drowning. But anyway... Okay, so I need to go north. Why did I need to go north? <laughs> Why did I need to go north there? Okay, go west. I don't know why I need to swim through the water. I guess just so you get the points of swimming. Uh, okay, so... Go west, eat house. So now we need to know that this is a house made of food. So I guess if we look at the house... The sweetest little gingerbread house you ever saw. The walls are cake, the roof is, is frosting, the chimney looks delicious, and the candy path and cookie fence are unbearably tempting. So, you might have noticed that a couple of the things in this game have to do with, like, common fairy tales. And that's because that's what this game likes to do. So, you might recognize the house from, like, Hansel and Gretel. Uh, and like all the others, we're supposed to eat the house. House looks tempting, but you need to get closer. Okay. Eat house. Yeah, the house tastes even better than it looks. Okay. Uh, apparently, eating the house gets you points, so we're gonna open the door. Like any good hero, we just barge in. Uh. Enter house. Open stove. So now we need to go in here. And open the stove. Open the door and see a roaring fire burning in the oven. Okay. We need to open the cupboard. Because as like any good hero, we have to rummage through everyone's stuff. Baseball cupboard. Cupboard. Uh-oh. Off in the distance you hear a high, squeaky voice say, I can smell someone tasty in my house. Uh-oh. So you gotta move quickly. Get cheese. So get the cheese, pluck the Swiss cheese from the, uh, from the shelf. Uh, so now we need to get the note on the table over there. So we need to move quickly. And you have to do all this before you get caught and eaten and you lose. So let's get the note really quickly. Or as quickly as King Graham can move. Get note. Uh-oh. Which mutters I am... I'm going to get my oven ready to cook someone for dinner. Yum. Okay. Get note. You cannot reach it from here. Get note. Grab the note from the table. Read note. That reads, sometimes it's wise to think backwards. Okay. So, now we need to leave the house. Let's hope the, uh... I don't know if we had to do that quicker or not. We'll see. See whether or not the witch notices us as we as we leave the house. <laughs> Have fun cooking, whoever it is. Hopefully not us. Yep. Okay. We're just gonna leave. Okay, so we got out of the house. Let's save. Save our godmother. Uh Tasty House. Okay. Oh, we need to do. We need to go north four times. Okay. Well, let's move over first. Any day now, King Graham. Okay, so we need to go north four times. Okay. Damn it, King Graham. Oh, 
No, don't get stuck on a stump. You have to keep moving. <sighs> I swear, King Graham is way too damn slow. Okay. To go north one more time and then west. Okay. Think. Open gate. So now we need to open the gate. In case you didn't know this was a gate. Okay. Open gate. Gate's rather heavy, but you managed to open it. We're holding a, sol a solid gold egg. Uh, this should be no problem. So, now that we've done that... Need to... show carrot? Okay, so we actually need to be on the same screen as the goat. I'll come back. Come back, goat. Show carrot. You're too far away, damn it. Come back here, goat. You tempt the old goat the carrot, he starts to follow you. Okay. So now we have a goat following us. As odd as that is. Uh, now what do we need to do? We need to go south with the goat. And then go south again. I don't know whose goat this is, but apparently we're just going to take the goat. Uh, there it is. I was like, why isn't the goat moving? Is it, does the goat get stuck on things, too? Because that would be real terrible if the goat gets stuck on things. Uh, okay, now, now the hard part. Now the hard part. Okay. So now we need to go over this screen. We need to go over the bridge. We're going to save this. Got a goat. Okay, now I need to get over this bridge with the goat. Goat, don't fail me now. Okay. Okay, so we got over the bridge. So we're gonna go west, walk over the bridge. And we need to walk over this bridge, I think. Think. Uh oh. So you approach the bridge, and a mean, ugly troll appears and refuses to let you cross his bridge. It's well known fact that goats hate trolls intensely. You should move aside and let the goat take care of this nasty troll. Alright, goat, you take care of that. The goat butts the troll right off the bridge, never to be seen in these parts again. Okay, so, um, that's why we need the goat. In case you didn't know that you needed a goat to stop a troll. There you go. Alright, so... Uh... Wait a second. Crotchy old gnome pacing around his lean-to. Okay, we actually don't need to be there. I don't even think we need to cross this bridge yet. Or maybe we did. And we need to go south. Very slowly. Seems to me that by now you would have learned to be more careful. You are stuck in the mud, this bottom of this river, and sinking fast. Wait, what? Swift current is not allowed for swimming. What? Hope you saved. Hope you saved. Otherwise, you're screwed. <sighs> so, restore game. I got a goat. Alright, so back over the goat. Probably should have saved again, actually. Alright, come on, goat. Let's go fight a troll again. Goat, get out of the way. I know you're an expert troll killer, but we gotta... We gotta do this. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you 
You fight that troll. Alright. Now then, we gotta go over here, apparently. Okay, see an old crotchy old gnome. Okay, let's go and talk to the gnome. Okay. Hold up. Before we do that, let's save. Gnomes. I think I actually saved that as a gnome sigh. Gnome sign. There we go. Okay. Now then, we need to talk to this man. We need to actually look at the man first. Look, man. Gnome is old and bent under the weight of years, but a playful wisdom still brightens his eyes. Okay. Talk, man. The old gnome tells you that he has something that you may... Something that may be very useful to you. Your task is to guess his name in three guesses, and his gift will be yours. Good luck. What is your first guess? Okay. Uh. Can we just ask what his name is? Where'd you get that idea? It's not even close. No, that's not right. What's your next guess? You can guess the gnome's name, but he left you a gold key anyway. Better luck next time. Okay. Um. Uh, I believe that's actually Rumpel Stoltzkin, but I have no idea how to spell that, so. Apparently, you just get key. It's heavy and cold. We're carrying around like 600 pounds of gold on us for some reason. I don't know why. Well, anyway. Let's go south. So, you might have noticed there's a lot of nursery rhyme stuffs here and stuff. Uh. Things like that. Alright, we need to go south twice, I think. And then we need to. Yes, okay. So we need to go over here, and we need to get these clovers. I know, they really. I think we're supposed to get the four leaf clover, actually. Clover's soft, you sense a strange strength in it. Okay, so we got the four leaf clover. Um, uh, now we need to go south, then west twice. You might notice we're back here again. Gentle Sir Graham, my fairy godmother. Oh, so apparently she's gonna give us the protective spell again. Oh, nice. Wait, no. Ah. Nope, don't get stuck on the... King Graham is like the worst hero ever. <laughs> At least in this installment. But I mean, he is young at this point. He's not old like he is in uh, some of the later games. Alright, so we gotta go west twice and then south again. Hope you like, hope you like King Graham walking, because there's gonna be lots of that. Okay, now we need to go south. Need to go west again. Actually, we need to go west twice again, so... There's King Graham, off he goes. Okay, there's King Graham, wandering along. Being stuck on trees. Apparently we're one-third of the way through this game, based on points, so... Okay, so now we're here. We need to go south again. Any day now, King Graham. Okay. And this might look familiar to you. Because we've already seen this so far. You haven't noticed we're running around in circles in this game. There we go. It's like, are we actually moving or did we get stuck on the, on the house? So, this is the woodcutter's house we saw earlier. Again. You might be noticing that there's a, again, a fairy tale thing. We've seen the uh, witch from Hansel and Gretel. We saw Rumpelstiltskin. And uh, now this is the woodcutter, I believe, from. I believe this is the woodcutter from. Uh, right, Red Riding Hood? The Red Riding Hood? I think so. Uh, 
so now we need to... I don't know. Look, man. Woodcutter's thin and dressed in rags. Look, woman. Woodcutter's wife is skinny and poorly dressed. Right? Give bowl. Puzzled, the couple wonders why you've given them a bowl. <laughs> they seem happy, though. Uh... <laughs> the last precious possession? Why not? Uh... Okay, so fill the bowl now. The couple is amazed and delighted with the bowl miraculously fills the bubbling stew. As a token of their gratitude, they offer their last earthly possession, the woodcutter's fiddle. Okay, so now... So apparently, the bowl will always fill with... with food. And they're starving to death. Again, I have no idea why everyone is starving when there's gold everywhere, but let's get the fiddle. Polished wood feels like satin. It seems to still vibrate from the last song it played. So now you have a fiddle. Again, I, I, I don't know why you, how you would know to do this, but there you go. So anyway, so now that we did that, we need to go east, south, east, south, and south again. Um, so yeah, this is this is the boring bar. We have to wander around aimlessly, and you do need all the things that you're getting. I know it all looks like really random and stupid, but that's how these games are. You need all kinds of random shit. Okay, so I think we actually went east twice on accident. We go east twice? Oh, dwarf! Uh-oh. Likes to steal treasures. That could've been bad. Okay, so the fairy godmother actually, like, protected us there. There's an ogre nearby. Why are there so many things attacking us all of a sudden? Okay. Let's stop for a second and save. Uh... We'll save it as... Bowl. That'll work. Um... Young Grand, the Mystic Protective Spell of Mine is weakened and departed. How thankful. Okay, so... We need to go south. Then we're gonna need to go east and south again. I guess that's to avoid all of the, uh, the dangerous stuff. Okay, so now we're back at the walnut area. Uh, uh, where are we? Here we are. Okay. The problem with uh, old school graphics, you can't see what's in the foreground all the time. Okay, so... Now we found this weird door. Now the weird... You might imagine that the door is probably locked, because it is. Um, in which case you need the key. So, if you try to open door, you can't. Securely locked. So, use key. Okay, use key on door. Can't do that. Unlock door. And the gold key, you unlock the huge door. Open door. Okay. Now before we do anything else, save. Now we have this. As you can imagine, you now need to uh, open, you need to go up, up these stairs. Um, uh, forgot that. Stairs are pretty slippery, aren't they? Guess what? You're dead. Yep. So the biggest enemy in this game are not ogres or trolls or monsters, it's uh, perspective. I hope you saved. Perspective will kill you in this game. Because um, basically the thing about these is Graham moves on a... 
on a sort of a... Uh, how do you put it? Like an up-down axis? And the stairs are not on an up-down axis. The stairs are on a diagonal. So... Guess what? You're dead! Yes. And this is not even the worst thing in this game, so... So you have to kind of hope you don't accidentally step off. Okay. I'm actually going to save here, because <laughs> we made it up halfway up the stairs. And yes, you do have to make it all the way up the stairs, so good luck. Oh god, I forgot, there's more stairs. Save again. Yes, lots of stairs. But at least our, uh, at least our thighs will look good. Not skipping leg day. Is that meme died already? I don't know. I'm terrible when it comes to uh, remembering what memes are in and which ones aren't. I realize I'm getting old now because as I... Oh god, more stairs. What the... Who are you? Little dwarf caught you by surprise. Is your treasure still okay? I... I don't know. It's odd. Uh... Look, treasure. See, nothing special. Look, self. I don't understand self. Can I just type in inventory? No. Oh, inventory. Uh, dagger key for the clover patch gold egg. Did he steal anything we needed? Let's, let's restore the game really quickly. Oh, shit, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that is what I wanted to do. Never mind. Uh, okay, up the stairs again. Nothing like stairs. Uh, okay. Save the game really quickly. Uh Oh, so these are we got Daggett, so we have quite a bit in our inventory. Um So What did he steal? Let's try this again. Store game. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 11 items. Damn it. I was going to say fight dwarf, but... Okay, so he stole, he steals one item out of your inventory. Um, that's not good. Um... Uh, let's see. I think I may have actually done this out of order. Okay. Is there a dwarf here? What are you talking about? The little door caught it. He's too quick to catch. God damn it. You saw him though. Okay. Apparently, just running away from him works. Or, no, it doesn't. God damn it. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so, now that we've figured that out... I think I actually have done this out of order. Uh... Dwarf be gone. Okay. Now more stairs. Because, you know, this is what this game, game needed. It's more stairs. Again, I'm not sure why exactly the stairs are on a diagonal and everything else that you move is on a, uh... is on a, uh... Uh, horizontal or vertical axis, but I guess it'll work. And we made it! Yay, we made it! No more stairs. Okay. Okay, so we need to leave the cave. Now we're out of a cave. We need to go south. All right. Go to tree to look in the hole. Which I guess they mean this tree. Okay, look hole. Okay, there's a sling. Get sling. Cool. Save. Okay, got the sling. That's good. Um, uh, north and west. Okay. Okay. Come on, that game, Graham. It's gonna walk real slowly there, King Graham. Okay, so there's this giant here. Oh god, run away. Okay, so actually what you're supposed to do here is go back. Play fiddle. You're supposed to play the fiddle here. A lively toe tapping tune on the fiddle. Uh apparently that didn't work. Yep, that giant just straight up kills you. Okay. I thought you were supposed to play the fiddle there. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to do. Okay. Try this again. Okay. Okay. Try this again. This time with less dying. Notification to the giant falls asleep. Oh, so we're actually supposed to wait around. So let's save again. Okay. Actually, can we can we actually uh So one thing I've been trying to Okay. Run, Graham! So we're actually supposed to run away from the giant. Uh, okay, apparently we couldn't run fast enough. So, apparently it's just to play the fiddle and then run away. And apparently that's supposed to make the giant fall asleep. I don't ever sure about that. Okay. Uh, it's a little weird. On this occasion, till the giant falls asleep. All right. Interesting choice of tune. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to actually start further south. This game can be ordinarily very picky. I don't know if I was actually walking there. That would have been a problem. Giant 
Giant's also very fast. Sorry for the assault on your ears by terrible music design, but... Sure. Hey. Hey. Okay, so I think it's supposed to happen here. Let's play the fiddle and then exhaust the giant by walking. The giant seems to be faster than us. Okay. That's a little odd. Okay, so what's supposed to happen here? He's supposed to be able to play the fiddle and then walk around him. Essentially. Um, and then he's supposed to fall asleep and drop a chest. Which we need. So I wonder if we actually need to do that as we walk in. We need to start like here. Maybe we're supposed to play fiddle at four giants. Let's try this again. Hey. Can't do that now. Okay. Let's try this again. Look. Giant. I might be doing this slightly wrong. Heavy chest for longer than he can remember. Okay, so he's actually already tired. Uh, I smell lullaby. <laughs> okay. I don't understand lullaby. Okay. That's not helpful. Um, okay then. Maybe we're just supposed to play the fiddle at all. I'm supposed to run away from the giant, looks like. But he's way faster than us for obvious reasons. Okay. And he kills us. Well, that's annoying. That's a little annoying, to say the least. Great. Okay, then. Um... Hmm. Okay. That's a little bit of a problem. Now we're going to run away, hopefully. So apparently we're just supposed to walk around this location until the giant falls asleep. Um, hopefully not like that. Um, now I'm actually going to figure out what I'm doing wrong. So let's, let's take a quick look on the YouTubes. To figure out why on earth... I'm doing this wrong. Apparently, I am not the only one who has this problem. Oh. Okay. That's an interesting way of dealing with it. Wow, you have to, like... Oh wow, that's a long, lot longer than I expected. Okay. <laughs> that's really stupid, uh, actually.
Alright. Okay, so actually what you got to do here, annoying as it is, is... I can't believe I'm saying this, but you have to keep... Essentially what the, what the issue is, is that you have to get the giant stuck on the tree. <laughs> because the giant is equally stuck as you are. So I actually have to go on the opposite side and get him stuck there. Yes, you have to use the terrain and the fact that it gets you trapped in the terrain to get him stuck for like 30 seconds so that you can then um, like keep him from moving, essentially. He'll move around for like 30 seconds and he'll fall asleep. So you have to actually play the fiddle they're actually going to save the game. Okay, so what'll happen is he'll get stuck on this tree. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this ha this is how you're supposed to beat this as it turns out. Oh no you don't. I am using this terrain in my advantage. There's no way you're getting me killing me this time. Nice try, Mr. Giant. I'm King Graham. I can use the terrain to my advantage too, just like you. What you gonna do there, uh Yes, you got this is how you're supposed to beat this. Any time now, giant. You want to fall asleep? That'd be great. Any time now. There you go. Okay. So, now that he's asleep, save over that so we don't have to do that again. Um. Get the chest. Uh, if you might remember, this is the magic chest that always has, uh, like, wealth in it. So you might recall that this is one of the three items we needed. Oh, he's been carrying that apparently forever for some reason. Uh, we need to... hate to say it. We need to go down the stairs again. So it's not good enough that you did the stairs once. You now need to do it a second time. <sighs> okay. You can do this. We gotta do the stairs again. Let's, uh, let's save. Thought we were done. So, save game. All right, let's do this. So now it's even more dangerous because you have to walk down. Before you were walking up and to the right, now you need to walk down and to the right. Um, now luckily this means that we can just keep walking right until uh, until we, he stops from hitting the wall, but it's a little annoying. Oh, no, no. Okay. Fucking stairs, man. Come on. There you go. Okay. Okay. Save. Okay. Let's try not to die. Okay. Oh my god, so many stairs. Oh. Apparently you can walk diagonally a little bit. 
Not a lot. But you can walk diagonally. Makes this, I guess, a little bit easier. Oh. I wish I had known that going up. Well, never mind then. I guess the stairs aren't so bad if you use diagonal movement. <sighs> okay, we made it out. Please, no more stairs. Okay, so... So now we need to go east. We're supposed to wait around here. Apparently we're supposed to walk around this location until an elf appears. Why an elf would appear here, I don't know. But apparently this is something we're supposed to do. Uh, at least I think this is supposed to be where we're supposed to be. Yeah. Pretty sure that's exactly where we're supposed to be. Actually, easy way to check out. I'll make sure I'm in the right place. Okay. Okay. Apparently, you see nothing special. Um, I'm ninety percent sure this is where we're supposed to be. I'm not sure, though, how long we're supposed to wait, though. I don't see. We'll just sit here and see how long it takes. The YouTubes. I was only sure this is the right place before we, like, sit around here for 30 minutes. Uh... Uh... I don't want King's Quest V. Okay. Apparently there's like a more updated version of this game, but if there is, I don't own it, so... Like an actual UI and everything. Okay. Hopefully one day I'll actually find that version, but I don't have that version, so... Yay, I guess. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. I would turn it on fast speed, except for the fact that it makes things go way too fast, so... Uh...
Okay. Any day now. Okay. I really do want to know how long I'm supposed to wait. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this here, and then when I find the elf, when he finally decides to show up, um, I'll just restart it. Unless he shows up, like, right a minute, right now. <laughs> no, apparently he's just not going to show up, so I'll be right back. I'm going to... I'm going to cut this, and then when I start it again, I'll be with the elf, hopefully. Alright, see you guys in a sec. And we're back. Okay, so, as it turns out, you're not actually supposed to, uh... Not actually supposed to, um... Wait here. You're actually supposed to go... You're supposed to go back and forth until he appears. Apparently. So I think that's what's supposed to happen. I may be wrong on this. There he is. Oh, come back. Come back here, elf. Of course, he's behind the trees, which is a little annoying. Hey, you, come back. Look, elf. Small elf, he looks very friendly. Okay, so we now found the elf. That's good. Um, you talk to the elf. Okay. Come back, elf. I need to talk to you. I need your ring. The elf, impressed by your friendliness, gives you a magic ring. Kind person, know that that once, only once, this ring will make you invisible. So only one time will the ring make you invisible. I guess that's that sounds useful. We don't know for how long, though. So, it's kind of like a less powerful ring of Sauron, I guess. Makes you invisible. What a great ring. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to save the game here and call it, uh, Magic Ring Get. Okay, so we got the Magic Ring. That's good. Uh, so now we need to swim east, so. Start drowning, start swimming. So now we need to swim east. Let's avoid the rocks. Let's, let's not die here. Okay, and now we need to go east twice. Yep, those, that certainly is King Graham walking around. Hey, what? No, 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 no. Uh, I think we need to go one more east. Oh yeah, we need to walk east one more time. There we go. Okay. So now we need to wait for a bird to appear. Mm, sorry. We need to wait for a bird to show up. Of all things. I'm not sure if we're supposed to walk back and forth like we did before, or... Oh, guess so. Okay, so apparently you need to keep moving back and forth. So I see a large, friendly bird. Hello, bird. Uh, jump on bird. Jump on bird. Really. There's a jump key. Oh boy. Okay, uh... Oh boy. This is a thing that's happening. Oh, come back. I need you to come back so I can jump on you. Uh... 
Uh, damn it. No. Stop. No, come back. Is he following a pattern, or is he just... Wait a minute. Following a pattern, or is he... I honestly cannot tell if he's following a pattern... ...or what. Bird doesn't talk much. No shit. Gonna come down now? Or it could disappear. Come back, bird. Okay. Now, this time... Hopefully it come over here. Wait, what? No, come back over here. Okay. There we go. Where could this giant bird be taking you? I don't know. Honestly, this is probably not the weirdest thing that's happened today. So... Okay, so he's dropping us somewhere here. Hopefully. Somewhere, hopefully. Hopefully look. Ouch. Thanks for that game. I never would have known that I was that was painful. Okay, so now now we need to go west to get a mushroom. I'm guessing it's the only mushroom here. I don't know why we need the bird to take us to this mushroom, but apparently that's what we needed. Get mushroom. Pick the fat mushroom, okay. We then need to go east and jump in the hole. I don't know how anyone was, plant was supposed to figure this out on their own. Because given how everything in this game kills you, I'm not sure how jump in hole uh, was the first thing. But in case we die, let's save. Okay, uh... Actually, we'll do... Call it Shroom, so we just got that, so... It's just... Ouch. Hey, they had an exclamation point this time. Okay, so we lived. Somehow. Um... So we need to go south, and then west. And of course, King Graham moves at the speed of uh, molasses. Because he's King Graham and he doesn't move very fast. Okay, and there's a rat, which we now need to give the cheese to the rat that we got in the house of Hansel and Gretel. Okay, uh, give cheese. Here's your afraid of the rat. You must get closer. Oh. Here. The rat drools at the sight of the cheese and snatches it from your hand. You might want to count your fingers. Okay, well, I, I didn't see that because I hit enter too, too quickly. Um, okay. Open door. Door slowly opens. Leprechaun? Leprechauns? The fuck? Now there's leprechauns? Okay, the leprechauns revere the power of the four-leaf clover. Within your possession, they will leave you absolutely alone. Okay. Uh. Alright. So. Uh. Alright, goodbye, leprechauns. What the fuck? Why is the keyboard dying? Oh god, that sounds horrifying. Make it stop, ugh. King's magic prevents you from getting close enough to harm him. Well, I don't want to harm him. Talk, King. Can you make the sound stop? Leprechaun King's ignores your words. 
No, no. Screw all you guys. In as quickly as possible, you add the shield to what you are carrying. Yeah, that's not surprising. Back to the first room with the strange creatures. Strange room. Ah. Make it stop. Good god. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh. That hurt. A little painful to my ears. Okay, so what do we need to do now? Need to... Oh, okay, I know. Ah! Okay. Okay, so now we need to get out of this room, which is painful to hear. Leprechauns revere the power, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we need to apparently play fiddle. Well, the gods love fiddle music! Have you ever seen such frenzied dancing? Totally involved in the music, they dance right out of the room. Okay. Uh... Apparently all the apparently all the leprechauns disappeared. After his followers have danced away, the king of the leprechauns realizes he can lead best by following, and leaves, forgetting his beautiful scepter. So, uh... Okay. Get scepter. It helpful if I could uh, spell scepter right. Okay, so we get the scepter. Now we need to walk up the stairs again. At least we're saved from that horrible sound. Not sure how you were supposed to know that leprechauns liked f fiddle music, but uh, there you go. Let's go up the stairs. And uh, if you might might have noticed that we had that uh, that mushroom, because we haven't ripped off enough fairy tales and uh, other literature. Eat mushroom. As soon as fall for bite, you have this strange shrinking feeling. Okay. Then you shrink out of that hole. It's a strange stretching sensation. Yeah. So you had to do that. Uh, then we need to go north. I don't know how you're supposed to figure any of this out. Uh, I don't know how far north we're supposed to go. Uh, I think I missed something. Go north. Uh, are we supposed to continue? Interesting. Um, I know where it wants us to go. I'm just not sure where we're actually supposed to go. So let's see if it's up here. No, it's not where we're supposed to go. Okay. So I think I might have been one off. Okay. I'm lost again. That's not helpful. Uh. Oh, no, what? Apparently, the magic shield uh protected us from the ogre. Is it still in our inventory? Please tell me we didn't lose. Okay, we still have the shield. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried for a second that because. We had the shield in our inventory, uh, because the ogre hit us, it would, like, lose, because that's the kind of thing this game would do. So, luckily we don't have that problem. So even the dwarves stole all our shit earlier. Okay. Um... I know what it wants us to do. I just don't know where it is. 
Because we're supposed to go to the well and actually get in the, uh, actually climb in the well. As terrible as that sounds. So maybe that's what we actually need to do. We need to find the, uh... Okay, now we're back here. God damn it. Okay, that's where we came out. So now we're back where we started. And then... Let's look at a map. We don't like spend here forever. Map. Okay. How useful that we have all the screens set out. So that's where we are. We need to be... Where? There is... What we're looking for. Okay, I see it now. Okay, so you actually need to go up... Up three over one. Okay. Sometimes this game gives me a headache. <laughs> It would also help if King Graham could walk more than the speed of a snail. Uh, no, actually, it'd probably be easier just to go up straight from here, as opposed to crossing around. I'll also probably save when I get to the well, because I have a feeling we're going to drown at least once trying to do this. Because what we're supposed to do, apparently, is climb into the well for reasons that don't make any sense to me. Then again, I don't understand why the walnuts have solid gold in them, and how we outsmarted a giant by using a tree. So, nothing in this game makes any goddamn sense. Okay. That's the... that bucket... the perspective of this bucket means that the bucket is the size of us. Alright, let's save. Giant bucket. Okay. So now we actually need to need to climb into the bucket. So jump bucket. Seems like a bad idea. Not have it. Okay. Climb pale. After you're in the old bucket, your weight causes it to slowly descend. Okay. And we've done that. So we need to go water. Ah! Swim, so we don't just sit there drown. Uh, dive water. And now we need to swim through the hole. I assume it means this hole down to the bottom left? It means this hole? Oh, hello! Suddenly dragon. Uh... Suddenly dragon. Dragon! Okay, let's not walk in front of the dragon. So now we need to throw the dagger we got like an hour ago. Dagger sings through the air, falls short of the dragon, should have been closer. Welp, the game's over now if you didn't save right there. Okay, actually we're gonna save after having typed that. Nursely, you throw the dagger at the dragon and strike it in the heart. Death for the dragon is instant. Suddenly dead dragon. Okay, dragon's dead. You know, casual, casual uh, throwing dagger at point blank range. Okay, get mirror. Pick up the magic mirror, good. Enter the hole. So now we need to swim out of here. I'm not sure why there was a fire breathing dragon in a cave underneath the water. Uh, but there was. So, we need to enter the... 
Uh, I'm trying. What do you mean I... You can try to go there. I am trying to go there. You wanna... You wanna help me out, game? Oh. You need to be on the right pixels to do it. Alright, so let's swim out of here. Apparently he doesn't need to be told to swim this time. Okay, so now we need to climb rope. Or I guess shimmy up the rope. Either works, I suppose. Okay. Alright. Uh, now we need to go... to the south, swim to the east, go east twice, walk over the deadly bridge, and talk to the king. Heaven forbid, King Graham remember that he's not just supposed to sit there and drown when he when he touches more than two inches of water. All right. Okay. Yep. Keep walking there, King Graham. So I don't think we're going to get all the points in this playthrough, but that's okay, because I know what I miss doing. Um, if you talk to the guy who, like, if you go to the witch's hut, you're supposed to push the wish, or push, push the witch into the oven uh, and kill her. That sounds gruesome, that's because... What? <laughs> no, no, swim. Mo With the moat population, swimming is not possible. What? Oh, that's such bullshit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, so... Gotta do this again. Actually, wait, did I, did I s restore after that? I don't know if I did. No, I did. Okay. Uh, come on, get a little closer. Okay, kill the dragon. Pick up the mirror. This is why you have to save constantly, because the most dangerous things in this game aren't the enemies, it's the bridges and stuff. Get mirror. Here's a question. What happens if I look in the mirror? Holding the magic mirror, you hold, look into it and see a vision of yourself with a crown on your head. Oh, that's good. Apparently that mirror was wrong before, because I drowned before I ever got that reality. So this mirror is like a liar. Well, I guess it's not really a liar, technically. I guess if it's showing the way the game is supposed to go, it's not wrong. But, uh, pretty sure that's wrong. Okay. Climb rope. Okay, let's do this right this time and not die horribly. All right. Of course, you know, King Graham, the guy who kills a dragon with a throwing dagger, one throwing dagger, uh, apparently cannot handle a couple crocodiles. Wait, wolf? What the? Okay, so the magic shield actually keeps us from harm. That's good. That's good. It's about as good as that is. Hmm. Uh, I think I actually went the wrong way. Oh no, I know where we are now. Uh, there we go. So now we just need to go south. I went east, but I didn't go south. And we made it again. Okay. Now for the most dangerous enemy in the game, aside from the stairs. It'll be this bridge. I swear, it's the most di difficult thing to deal with. So we're gonna save, so we don't, you know. Get out of the bridges. Alright, so now let's try not to die walking across this bridge again. And we made it! Okay. Thank god. Okay, so. Open door.
Alright, I gotta walk down this weird ass hallway. Come on then. So we're gonna miss a couple points. We didn't push the uh, the witch into the oven. We didn't uh, guess the gnome's correct name, which would have given us. So if you guess uh, or you guess the gnome's correct name, he gives you magic beans. You then plant the beans, and that grows a beanstalk. You then have to climb, uh, and that gets you to the giant. So as we're ripping off Jack and the beanstalk too, because we didn't do that, he gave us a key, and the key opens the door, and that's why we had to fight the stairs. So. Alright, so we're gonna bow to King. Hey, oh, hat fell off. Hey! Uh, you move size, throne, is King steps from his throne. Wait, what? Watch the throne, the King himself rises to commend you for a job well done. Did we do something? Uh, oh, oh, the King proclaims in pain. <laughs> and he's dead. Seemingly lifeless King. Hear these words. Well done, Sir Graham. You've been a good and faithful servant. Your reward is well deserved. My kingdom is now yours. <laughs> these words, King Edward the Benevolent dies. Yes, King Edward, so benevolent, he couldn't feed his people. Uh, apparently his kingdom was poor, despite the fact you had birds that laid golden eggs and walnuts that had solid gold pits inside of them. And, you know. Well, he did. <laughs> Well, apparently he's dead. Just leave his corpse there, sitting on the uh, on the throne room. I'm sure, the five people who exist in this kingdom won't uh, won't mind the fact that I'm taking over. Students, your quest will be invaluable to you as you begin your reign as king of Daventry. Really? Invaluable? What exactly did we do that would help us with ruling? <laughs> we didn't do anything. Oh well. <laughs> they just left his corpse there. He's left his corpse there, sitting there, while King Graham just sits on the throne with a dead body, not ten feet away from him. Also, ow! Your reward for apparently playing this game is to hear the worst music ever made. Ow! Ah! Jesus, stop! Okay, so we didn't do everything, but I'd say that's a pretty okay playthrough. Uh, I'm not exactly... It ah! Dab music. I'm not exactly, like, itching to play this again. <laughs> Maybe some of the others will be better? I don't know. Alright, let's... Let's get out of here. See you, everybody.